The Carter Thoracic Surgery Center of Excellence is part of the Heart and Vascular Institute at Tampa General Hospital and also is comprised of surgeons there at the University of South Florida. They have academic appointments and we just the union between University of South Florida and Tampa General. It's outstanding in terms of the greatness of the goals and the vision for the future. Tampa General Hospital has really embraced innovation and technology in order to provide equitable care for all patients. Our mission is to become the most, the safest and the most innovative program and hospital in the world. And our goal is to provide the best patient care and with the cutting edge technology and training of the future generation of surgeons. Hybrid revascularization combines uh, the best of both worlds, the minimally invasive robotic cardiac surgery and least invasive percutaneous coronary intervention. The hybrid revascularization represents great alternative for patients who otherwise before would undergo sternotomy for performing the revascularization. From a cardiac surgical standpoint, it helps the patient with a quicker recovery because we are not opening up their chest. From a revascularization and long-term efficiency or effectiveness of the revascularization, it helps the patient because we are not traditionally doing vein grafts. And when we do vein graft revascularization, we know drug eluting stents are better. And we also know that when we are fixing the left anterior descending artery, Lima to the LED is better than any stent that exists in the world. The patient gets seen by the entire team at the same time. And the patient patient's perspective on this now is that everybody is viewing me as one unit. Here, you're seeing the patient exactly at the same time and everybody's talking in a true heart team approach at the same time about that patient and we come up with the exact right answer. Well, when I was told that I had a chest pain and when they examined it, they determined that I had uh, triple bypass problems. And my Widowmaker uh, artery was 97% blocked. And when Dr. Lazonsky uh, gave me the option of having robotic surgery, I thought it sounded way too good to be true, but it wasn't. It was just wonderful. Had zero pain, never really, really uncomfortable, totally manageable. And uh, I would recommend it to anyone. I thank Dr. Lazonsky for literally saving my life and the team that took care of me was just terrific. Tampa General Hospital is the only quaternary academic medical center for a population of four and a half million people on the west coast of Florida. And as that really large asset in the community for the care of patients, we have a very significant responsibility to not only have our front door wide open so that patients can access our care, but really also bring the most innovative care to those patients. That looks like clinical trials. It looks like multidisciplinary care uh, of very complex medical conditions. And it looks like the application of new surgical technology in order to deliver high quality, outstanding care for the community. We have performed here some of the world's first robotic cardiac surgery. We combined robotic mid-cab with liver transplant and in two patients and with liver and kidney transplant in another patient. And that's been a feat that we achieved here. The liver transplant patients are so sick that if they are discovered to have coronary artery disease, they cannot undergo the life-saving liver transplant procedure by combining robotic revascularization allows the patients to undergo the liver transplant. So the robotic revascularization minimizes blood loss, avoids opening the sternum, and decreases the infection risk, and really offers this liver disease patients undergo their life-saving transplant procedure. With the use of machine perfusion technology, and the combined expertise of our cardiac surgical team, our cardiologists, and our liver transplant team, we can now provide equitable care to those patients who were never considered candidates in the past. 
As far as the future of cardiac surgery and transplantation at Tampa General Hospital, I see the next five years as a journey towards international and national thought leadership. We have now developed an incredible team that is capable of providing care to individuals that were formerly not candidates for surgical uh, treatment of their coronary disease or transplantation. Over the next five years, the number of clinical trials that we'll be providing patients, the number of NIH-funded research studies that will be accessible to the community is just going to explode. We have a deep commitment to academic uh, approaches to care and innovation.